you know, hey, this this is a real you know challenge for our team. Uh, it was obviously a very emotional win for us uh, against a good, very good LSU team, and um, you know Mississippi State I think has uh, probably the best four and five team in the country. They've lost five games to top twenty teams and have played extremely well all year long. And you know it's a difficult preparation because uh, they do a great job of coaching their players, and I think the focus for our guys needs to be on. You know what we need to do to improve, what we need to do to prepare well, so that uh, we can continue to try to play our best, and um, that's going to be the real key to for us. For questions, press star one, and Coach will start you off with uh, John Zainer of the Associated Press. Uh, hello, Coach. Hey, John. How are you? I'm great, thanks. I, I had two questions for you, uh, totally unrelated. Um, First off is you had obviously had some guys who don't get a lot of attention like Jelson Fowler and, and uh, Tanae Patrick and, and even O.J. Howard just because of his just because he's young still. Um, I'm wondering how important are, are the kind of the unsung guys, the role players on a team like uh, Alabama, even though they don't get much attention. Well, you know, I think there's a lot of guys that do a great job on our team that don't get a lot of attention. So uh, just because all of a sudden these guys, you know, do something that you know, maybe deserves a little attention on their part doesn't mean that they're not very well appreciated by, you know, all the coaches and all their teammates because, you know, their role on the team is very much appreciated. You know, a guy like Kenny Bell, for example, I mean, a guy does a great job for us, uh, doesn't have a lot of production as a receiver, but he does a great job in terms of what his role is, and he's a very capable guy. Um so, you know, there's a lot of guys like that on our team. There's a lot of guys that play on special teams. So all these roles are important, and um, like we say all the time, you know, there's always going to be three or four plays that make a difference in the game, and you got to play every play uh, with great effort, toughness, and attention to detail because you never know when those plays are coming up. So, um, you know, we really appreciate the guys on our team who do that uh, because if they do it that way all the time, they'll – you know, good things are going to happen. Okay, the second question. Back in, you've, you've kind of made it clear you like the traditional uniforms and everything. I don't know if you know Northwest is wearing red, white, and blue uniforms to honor the Wounded Warriors Project. Obviously, nice gesture. Maybe you could talk about your philosophy on how that was obviously got all this tradition and everything on, on kind of keeping that, not changing up the uniforms much. Well, you know, I, I really don't know anything about what's going on and what other people are doing, so, you know, that's news to me. I, I really didn't know that. I think it's, you know, great that, you know, teams and people, you know, do things to, you know, honor people who's made sacrifices for our country, with our, which, you know, veterans, you know, most certainly have. Um, you know, I'm kind of a traditionalist. I don't think it should be my decision to decide – you know, to change what people's expectation is for the brand that, you know, Alabama football sort of presents itself in. So, um, you know, we, 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 we try to do and be uh, and appear like everybody expects us. Thank you. Next we have Michael Bonner, the Jackson Clarion legend. Hi, Coach. How are you? Hello. Hi, Coach. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, I'm curious, uh, one of Mississippi State's uh, weaknesses this year has been the inability to finish games. And last week against LSU, you guys uh, scored 17, I think, 17 points in the fourth quarter. How have you been able to teach your team about closing out games and playing that full 60 minutes? Well, I think you just said it. I, I think that, you know, finishing is a mindset. you got to do it in everything you do, whether it's every day in practice, whether it's running sprints after practice. Um you know, and you got to be relentless in the way you compete uh, every play in the game, like it has a history of a life of its own, regardless of the score, regardless of the circumstances. And, um, you know, our players did a good job of this in the last game, and uh, it's going to be important for us to be able to continue to do that because we've got some really challenging games ahead of us, and this one this weekend is no different than that.